Well, good day and welcome to the South African Loop. Okay, so I just want to show you here. Um, the lawn is looking great after the top dress. Um, so just just have a look. I don't know if you can see that. Might be I might be a little bit overexposed. Just have a look here. I uh, just gave it a cut now. Okay, so in my opinion, the lawn looks great. Uh, but today we're going to do something a little bit different, and I'm going to show you why we're doing this. So today I'm going to add some liquid iron or ING light to the lawn. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and the only reason why I'm going to do that is because I've got, because I sowed on different times, okay, or later over sown or whatever. Um, I've got grass seeds that germinated a little bit later, some of them a little bit earlier. And um, as winter came, the frost hit the younger grass seeds a little bit harder than obviously the more established ones. Um, so have a look. I don't know if you can see this. So right there we've got a yellowish tinge to the colour of the lawn. Some spots are more yellow than the others. I'm going to add some liquid iron, let's see what it does. Okay so another thing that I'm going to do is, um, I'm not going to post this video immediately. So by the time you watch it, I'll be able to give you an idea of what it looked beforehand um, and then maybe four or five days later before and after so I didn't even see this when I bought the product but there it says for correcting chlorosis or yellowing of leaves caught, caused by iron deficiency and that's the product okay so I've always used a hand can sprayer which works fine but I've ended up having about 500 square meters of lawn and it's just getting a little bit irritating just filling that thing up 10 times while doing an application or in the middle of the summer all over the yard um, so I've gone and bought myself one of these and hopefully it works well so let's have a look so it seems to be I'll first have to assemble this thing um, so I'll do that and then we'll get back to spraying the lawn Okay, so it took me some time to set up this bad boy. I didn't know where exactly where everything should go. Um, but I've got everything where I think it needs to be. And I've tested it and it works. Um, so here we go. So I've just changed the nozzle from the round tip to this fan tip nozzle um, for my application. Okay, so let's go and put in the product. Okay, so now for the mixing of our product that we want to put on. Obviously ING late. And they say it has got 130 grams of iron per kilogram of product. So they say you should add 6 milliliters in 10 liters of water. So I've got a 16 liter sprayer here. Um, so I'm going to mix in. Maybe I'll go with recommended rate, maybe a little bit heavy. So I'm going to go with about 10 mils of this product. It comes in powder form. Looks like that. Um, but with this, a little goes a long way. Like this is 10 mils. And that is going to fill that old sprayer. Okay, so firstly I'm going to get some PPE on. Not that I think this product is very hazardous. Uh, but just for the freaks out there. Okay, so I'm going to fill this thing, I would say, up to about halfway. Hopefully 16 litres isn't too much. 
Um, so hopefully in about two passes, we'll be able to cover this almost 200 square meters. Now I'm gonna put about 10 mils of this iron tea late. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put a little bit extra for luck. Just a little bit. And then some surfactant to make it stick. Go for it. About that much. Now I'm just going to fill it to the about the 15 litre mark. Okay, so I filled this almost to the top. I'm just going to give it a good shake to mix it around. Okay, so there we have it. Um, I think we're good to go. I've never used this sprayer, so let's hope I'm not overshooting or undershooting by miles here. Okay, so the same principle as with the mowing. I'm going to do a trim pass and then we'll get to the middle section. So it sprays nice, nicely. Luckily not in my face. Okay, so I've done the trim passes. I'm just going to go and have a crack at the centre part now. Okay, so before I go any further, um, you want to set your nozzle so it creates a mist. Um, because this is a foliar application, you want the actual, that's why I added surfactant as well. So you want the actual product to stick to the leaf of the plant. So this is a foliar application, so it actually sticks to the leaf and it's taken up and absorbed by the leaf itself. So I might cheat and go a little bit heavier on the yellow parts uh, to try and regain that color. I've got about just over a third of the product left maybe just a little bit less than a half of the um, initial amount that I started with so I'm just gonna go in another direction just to make sure that I've covered everywhere <laughs> So after doing this, um, I just want to remember not to mow the lawn or water it. Um, so I can actually give the, the leaf of the grass a chance to absorb this. Um, so no watering or mowing. I'm going to leave this at least for uh, a day. Actually my next watering schedule is only in two days time. So I actually did a double cut just before I did this application because I knew that I will have to leave this product on the lawn for some time. Okay, so just one more thing. This product feels quite expensive, um, but it isn't. I paid 90 Rand for 100 grams there, and I'm sure you could do about 10 or 15 applications um, with that small container. So a little really d does go a long way.
Okay, so it is four days later and this lawn is looking great in my opinion. Um, it has turned a little bit darker. Um, however, I don't think it was really iron deficient, um, but the iron has really kicked some dark color into this. Um, however, some of the younger grass seeds are still struggling to regain their color. Um, I think that's more due to uh, frost and cold weather, not being due to iron deficiency. So just have a look here. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, in my opinion, the Iron Chi Lake was a great success or was a success. I think you'll have better results when your lawn is iron deficient, but it has kicked in some great color into this lawn. Um, so I'm quite happy to see what's going on here. And um, yeah, so I can really recommend you, if you've got a yellowish lawn or yellowish tinge to your lawn, add some Iron Chi Lake. That'll probably change things around for you. Um, so yes, that's all from my side. I'm the South African Lawn. Thank you so much for everyone watching. If you enjoy the content, please give it a like and subscribe to the, to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.